Hey guys, it's Tian, and in today's episode, I'm going to be doing something that might sound a bit crazy to you. I am going to eat 5,000 calories and attempt to burn it off. A daily caloric intake for female is somewhere around 1,008 to 2,000 calories a day. For the past three and a half years, I've been training for bodybuilding competitions and my diet has been very restrictive. And then I went on to Miss Singapore Universe where I was also on a diet. The only cravings that I gave into was dark chocolate. It's been a while since I've given myself a fantasy cheat day and I've always kind of dreamed of it because I've seen videos of all these YouTubers where they just give themselves one day to indulge in whatever they want. Just for today, I'm going to indulge in all the foods that I haven't eaten in a very long time and tomorrow, I'm going to attempt to burn off the calories at the gym. I actually don't think it's going to be possible for me to burn 5,000 calories in just one gym session. But I'm going to attempt to burn as many calories as I can. So it's 10 a.m. right now and I have not eaten anything yet. I'm going to take my weight and also my waist measurements so that you can see a good before and after cheat meal. First up on my cheat day menu, two roti pratas with an egg inside each, a side of curry and a box of Krispy Kreme. Mm. So normally for breakfast, I would have half a bowl of oatmeal and five egg whites. I really love roti prata. When I was younger, I used to eat this with sugar and condensed milk. <laughs> So I'm done eating both pratas. I'm gonna move on to the next item on my menu. Donuts is probably one of my favorite treat foods to treat myself. It's one of those things that I don't feel too bad indulging on. I think I have space for one more donut at the moment before I get sick of eating donuts. I'm gonna have such a massive sugar rush after this. Right now, I'm actually at about 1,478 calories. Given that I have been on a diet of about 1,500 calories every day, that's an entire day's worth of calories. <laughs> <laughs> in less than an hour. <laughs> mm. So this is my all-time favorite chip. Mm, looks so good. It's like golden. <laughs> mm. This right here is 140 calories. I feel like they put some kind of magical preservative in it. It's just so, so addictive, but no regrets. This is pacho mi, mi pong. Yeah, it's my absolute favorite Singaporean dish. I just remember in secondary school, I used to eat this almost every day after school with taping. <laughs> so healthy. Okay, I was young that time, my metabolism was much higher and I, I didn't really care about dieting. I mean, at the age, you're like, who really cares, right? Oh, good times. Is there chili inside? Yes, it's chili. It's ultimate comfort food. Oh, God. <laughs> I haven't had mee pong in, I think... I don't know, in the longest time. This is something that I was definitely looking forward to indulging in when my competition was over. I did ask for extra lard because if I'm gonna have a bowl of mee pong, I want it to be very, very flavorful and fatty and I'm gonna make it worth it. Whew. Okay, to be honest, I'm starting to get a bit full. But I think I can still finish the rest of this. I've been eating non-stop for the past hour and a half, so I think I'm gonna take a short break before I continue with my cheat day. <sighs> I'm actually starting to get a bit sleepy. <laughs> I think it's from all the carbs and the sugars that I wolfed down the past two hours. All the blood's kind of rushing to my stomach now trying to digest, but here's some protein. <laughs> here's some nuggets. Usually when I get my nuggets, I like to have it with some kind of sauce, so today I'm gonna have some ketchup. Last one. Finish. Now onto dessert. I have always wanted to do this. You know, you see those movies when girls are feeling super depressed and they're just like eating ice cream from the top and like crying like, oh. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I never win to Singapore. <laughs> I guess I never really had an entire tub for myself. Actually, this is really my first time. I've gone through about two thirds of the pine. Next item on my menu, java chip frappuccino and pepperoni pizza. Mm. This time, I'm not using a napkin to dab off the oil. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> 
gosh. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good this was. <laughs> I wonder who's watching this right now and envying me. I deserve this, okay? I've been on the diet for so long. In the beginning, I was like, wow, this pizza tastes so delicious. And then, I don't know, as I keep going, the pleasure I derive from each extra slice is just kind of like a meh. It's starting to be quite a struggle to finish it. <sighs> okay. We have to get like a five minute break. I am already getting to about 80 or 90% full. But I want to finish this pizza because who knows when's the next time I'm going to get a cheat day of this scale. The end. So, I am done with my meals and I'm going to assess the aftermath. When I was sitting down, I said that I was about 80% full but I totally take it back because I actually feel like throwing up right now. <sighs> my breathing is very heavy. My heart is beating quite fast. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna take my weight. And I measured 74 centimeters over my waist. Just now, I was 61. I feel kind of sick and I kind of feel like throwing up right now. I'm going to pass out and go to sleep. And the first thing I'm gonna do tomorrow morning is to go and work off these five thousand calories. This morning, I am feeling very sleepy, more exhausted than I usually feel when I wake up in the morning. And I also felt very hungry when I woke up. So I actually went ahead and had a light breakfast of eggs and fruit because I don't think that you should work out on an empty stomach or if you're feeling hungry. Okay, so I'm going to jump into my workout and I have planned a high intensity interval training program for myself. I'm using a lot of movements that are going to use multiple muscles in my body so I can increase my calories burned. I feel that when I'm working out today, my body is moving a lot slower. I've only burned 40 calories. 40 calories is less than one of the chicken nuggets that I ate yesterday. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? <laughs> I don't know. I can hear the water in my belly. All oh, the java chip lah. <laughs> it was the curry. I hate you curry. I hate you prata. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even burned off one like donut yet. And I ate three. Oh my god. <laughs> and I've burned 87 calories. Today's session is not looking great. <laughs> Okay, I have burned 123 calories. To be honest, I'm so tired this morning that I'm not even sure if I can burn 1,000 calories just from today's session. Whenever you're working out and you feel exhausted, make sure that you're hydrating yourself, drink a lot of water and take a break. And I'm going to continue my workout and this time I'm going to pick up the intensity a notch and add in some jumping. I'm starting to get really gassy. I'm burping a lot. All the undigested pizza in my stomach. Ooh. Ooh. My legs are jelly. I feel like all the food from yesterday is in my thighs. And when I'm jumping, I'm literally like jumping with the food strapped to my thighs. I have officially burned off 300 calories. So that's a whole box of chicken nuggets. It took quite a lot of work. No! I totally feel how like all my clients feel when I force them to do something they don't want to do. I hate cardio so much. I hate cardio. I can lift weights. I enjoy it so much more because it's just a lot more effective, you know. Things like squats, things like push-ups, they actually burn a lot more calories than just running on a treadmill. But now at this stage, I'm really feeling pretty exhausted that I don't think that I should carry any more weights because I might injure myself. So I'm just doing something repetitive just to get just a bit more calories burned. So I think I'm going to go for a few more minutes and then call it a day. I'm already past 700 calories. This entire gym session lasted about an hour. If I go on any further, I think I'm just going to overexert myself. The thing that surprised me the most out of this whole experience is 
how exhausted I felt this morning because waking up, I'm usually feeling very energized and excited to go to exercise and start my day. But this morning, I just felt very heavy, lethargic, sleepy, and not energized at all. I really think it has to do with the quality of food that I ate. Normally, I eat very healthy, good quality food, but yesterday, I just filled my body with a lot of junk food. So I can really feel a difference that what I put into my body truly affects how I function in general. I feel so sick right now, like, you know, I feel like there's a, there's a pizza like floating in me. I need some fibre, I need some good things to, you know, cleanse my system. Besides the quality of your food, the quantity of your food makes a lot of difference. So I really did enjoy the food that I had yesterday and I would have cheat days in future, but maybe not at this scale. Just a disclaimer, this was a personal experiment and I don't think I would do anything like this again and I don't think you should as well. If you're going to indulge, just do it in moderation. You can practice the 80-20 rule. 80% of the time you're eating healthy, 20% of the time you leave space for indulgent food. If you are going to have a cheat day, just don't beat yourself up about it. Fitness is a lifestyle, so I'm very sure that one cheat day is not going to be detrimental to your health. So today, I'm going to go for healthy salads, protein, maybe chicken breasts or white fish. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing me eat and then suffer at the gym. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the bell so you never miss another video. Or you can also download the Click Network app so that you can get the videos before they hit YouTube. Take care everyone. Bye!